Hey, what's up? What's up, Danielle? Hey, how you guys doing? What do you got? Okay. You're gonna love this pick, trust me. I'm gonna send you to a guy named Speedo Man. What's he got, uh, speedometers? Uh, I have been looking forward to sending these boys on this pick for so long now, and I'm certainly not gonna spoil any of the surprises they're in for today, so I have to be very, very vague. So this dude is incredible. He has not thrown anything away in over 60 years. So you're gonna go into a situation that's a little bit intense, but you're gonna find some good stuff. All right, send us this Speedo guy's info. All right, have a good time. Bye. See ya. My biggest wish in life right now is that I could actually be there with them on the pick, but I suppose as they say, wishes were horses, beggars would ride. <laughs> and I'm not a beggar. Now what do you want to look at in here? Oh, yes. Anything you'll show us. Whoa. Don't step on anything like a windshield or anything. Oh, else. no doubt. Okay. He's got some gas pumps, he's got some signage, and he's got car after car. They're stuffed inside this building. Wow. wow. I think that's how he acquired his nickname. This yeah. is great, man. <laughs> it looks like no one's been in here for years. All right, show us around. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. I won't. I'm excited about this space because these are the spaces that we dream about and are becoming very few and far between. This Woody's in incredible shape, man. This one's got kind of a cool look to it, this sedan here. And by 1955, I had a guy come in here and he wanted to buy all these cars. He said, I'll give you 55,000 for them eight pieces in there. That's a lot of money back then. Oh yeah, yeah. And I said, no, I don't think so. And my daddy said, you know, I think you got a brick short. <laughs> I wasn't very smart in school, but I'd done a lot of thinking. And I seen what happened to other people, and I learned from, from their experiences. And years later, he said, you know, I think you made a good choice, sir. Because <laughs> <laughs> he saw everything increase in value. Right, yeah. you waited yeah. it out. I fooled him. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.